Steve Cassidy, why are you guys doing this? Uh, you know, we don't think he's qualified to be president. And we think very strongly that if America knows the real Rudy Giuliani, you know, what he did for the eight years leading up to 9-11 and the decisions that he made and the impact it had on firefighters that day, they won't think he's qualified either. When you say he's not qualified, talk to me. What, what exactly do you mean? His whole mantra has been he's this great leader, you know, the mayor of New York, you know, America's mayor. But in reality, he made decisions like we didn't have radios that worked, and this was just highlighted in the video. But, you know, the radios that didn't work in 1993 were the same ones we were using on 9-11. 121 firefighters in the North Tower didn't hear the calls to evacuate. They're dead. That's a disgrace. That's, he hasn't discussed it. He won't discuss it, and his people won't discuss it. You know, when you talk about building an emergency com command center at the site of the World Trade Center, even though in 93 the terrorists said, try to take down the towers, and they said they would come back. So, you know, when, when he had a state-of-the-art command center for communications, which we didn't have that day, no one was there because he built it at the site of the World Trade Center. Is that the kind of decision that should have been made? No. The answer is obvious no. And he went against his own expert's advice to put it there. So, you know, these are real decisions that had real impacts that day, and yet he doesn't want to talk about it. Okay, but this is the same mayor that purchased new bunker gear, right. thermal imaging cameras, right. and personal alarms for firefighters. Okay, well, bunker gear we got because of a lawsuit, and we got it 10 years after every other major fire department in the country. So if that's the reason he should be the president, because he got New York City firefighters bunker gear 10 years after everybody else, then he is qualified. But, but that's not the reality of the, the situation. Is, is he running because he got firefighters bunker gear? Is that why he wants to be president? Is that what he's saying on the stump? No, he's saying, I'm this great leader. And when you look at his decisions from 93 through 2001, you look at a failed policy, a lack of leadership, a man who surrounded himself with yes people. And in the end, you know, this video, I think, talks about the real issues. And I think a lot of people will, will take a second look at whether or not they believe Rudy Giuliani is the kind of leader that could actually run this country. We don't think he did a good job as mayor. We're certainly not going to endorse him for president. Are you guys looking to swift boat Mr. Giuliani, travel around the country or run ads? Uh, highlighting your point of view as it relates to him? Well, I, I think the analogy to Swift Boat is, is, is wrong because the Swift Boat issue was about conduct that John Kerry had 25 years before. We're talking about what Rudy Giuliani did as the mayor of the city of New York. Do we have a right to talk about it? Absolutely. Are we going to continue to make our, our, our thoughts known to the American people? Yes, and this is the first step. You plan on traveling the country with no. this message? Well, I don't think we have to travel the country now, and I think that you know we'll sit back and see what kind of reaction we get. We'd like the mayor to address these issues. You know, maybe he can come out and say he made mistakes. I mean, I think that's what he should do. He should admit that mistakes were made, but he's never addressed these issues. And in the end, in the end, decisions and policies that he had in place had a tremendous negative impact on New York City firefighters. That but, day. but is it fair to say that your point of view does not represent? All firefighters, this is solely the position of the international and, and yourself? Well, I think that when firefighters around the country know the real record on, you know, I mean, firefighters don't work with radios that are 15 years old in Tuscaloosa. You know, they certainly should be working with them in New York City. Volunteer firefighters around the country had better equipment than we had that day. So in the end, come on, Mr. That's Cassidy. The that's the truth. Volunteer firefighters, volunteer fire departments had better equipment than than firefighters in the Historic, city of New York. Absolutely, historically, look at the apparatus they have. They always have newer apparatus than we do. We're driving around in, in old fire trucks. Nothing's changed. But in the end, in the end, when you have radios that don't work, when you're the largest fire department in the country, when 121 firefighters perished in the North Tower that needn't have happened, you know what? We could never support a candidate like that. And for him to go around the country and say he's this great leader because of what happened on 9-11, look what happened leading up to 9-11. And the pictures of him with a dust mask on, walking away from the, from the collapsed towers, he would have been in the command center with his top police and fire brass communicating and making sure that firefighters and cops could communicate. They didn't do it because they put it at the site of the World Trade Center. It was unusable that day, the day we needed it. But if these radios are so bad... Right. Aren't they the ones that you still use today? No, absolutely not? not. No, They purchased new radios prior to 9-11 with a no-bid contract. Those radios were taken out of service. Okay, 
and we were using the old ones on 9-11, the ones we used in 93. Those radios that the Giuliani administration had purchased that were immediately taken out of service because they didn't work, they were used. They were put back in service under the Bloomberg administration after the changes were made and they were improved. So anybody saying that we, we were using the radios that should have worked or we're using the same radios, it's just flat out wrong. I just want to be clear. It's not the same radios. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. Now, you know the charge that will come at the International Union, right. that you're political, the international, and that you mostly, I know you endorse President Bush, but that the international mostly endorses Democratic candidates, and that this entire attack is political on Mr. Giuliani. Well, I think everything is political. I mean, you know, when you, when you talk about running for president uh, on the backs of, you know, dead firefighters, we think that's political. When you talk about being this great leader, when your track record shows something different, we think that's political. But, Mr. Cassidy, you just said that that's a strong statement. You just said that Mr. Giuliani is running on the back, running for president on the backs of dead firefighters. Yeah, yeah we, we think that, yes. I mean, in the end, in the end, Dominic, his record is about failure. He made many, many mistakes, and yet, now we are here, and he's saying, I should be the great leader of this country. I'm qualified to do it. I know more about terrorism. If he knew so much about terrorism, he wouldn't have built his command center at the site of the only terrorist attack in the United States history, at the World Trade Center. If he knew so much about terrorism, we would have made sure that firefighters, the best firefighters in the world, would have radios at work. He didn't do that. If he cared so much about the American people in New York, he wouldn't have turned, tried to turn the operation into a scoop and dump and take the remains of thousands and dump it in a landfill in Staten Island. I mean, to me, that's not a leader. But it, it sounds like you're blaming the person that was trying to lead the city, and to a great part, the country, because at the time, the president was in the air and at undisclosed locations, and are you willing to not give Giuliani credit for anything as it relates to 9-11? Wasn't he a moral leader for the city and for the country? No, I, I, I absolutely won't say that he, he didn't do anything well. And I think he, he communicated well. I think he probably rallied forces together. I'm sure he did a lot of good things. But when he's talking about his record, as it applies to what happened leading up to 9-11, it's a failed policy, Dominic. And all we're doing is saying if the American public knew it, and they will know it now, and they look at it, I don't think they'll think he's this great leader that he's trying to portray himself as. And we think this thing about America's mayor is a myth. I don't have a personal thing against Rudy Giuliani. I don't even know him. But in the end, we think his policies were flawed. We don't think he's qualified to be the president. It's not political. It's business. Okay, but you and I both know, we've been around the block a few times, that normally when, when something like this happens, a complaint like this is lodged, normally it's a, somewhere in the background it's a personality dispute among some parties about some past thing that didn't go well. If, 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 he, if you're to be believed that he did not do things correctly in terms of handling 9-11, well then why didn't you make this case sooner? Why are we just hearing this now? Well, he's running for president, Dominic. I mean, he's running for president on his 9-11 record. We certainly have a right to highlight the parts that he won't talk about. That's all we're doing. We're not saying he's never done anything good. We're just saying, here are things that the American public doesn't know. We want them to know. If they still want to vote for him, then maybe he will be the president. But in the end, we'll have a clear conscience that we have set the record straight. And I don't think his people want to talk about the real issues that we've raised. Do, so if they want to like ignore the Do you like Do you like him? I don't know him. I don't know him personally. So I couldn't tell you. Well, in the next clip of the video that we're going to show to uh, Richard Shear uh, relates to he's going to see where the trucks are taking away the gold uh, from the ground zero area. Now, are you really saying, and no offense, but with, is, are the, is the international saying with a straight face that Mr. Giuliani only let the search go on long enough to get the gold out of that area? Well, I, I know what Rudy Giuliani said in the beginning. He said, we'll stay here till we find every single remain. Then when they found the gold a few days later, they wanted to shut down the site. And firefighters protested, said, we're not going to allow this to happen. You know, there were over 2,000 bodies that still had not been recovered. And many of them were firefighters. So we went down there and we protested. He had us arrested. 
And then he reversed his position and let us go back and continue to work. And hundreds and hundreds of more remains were found, and those families had an opportunity to have a decent funeral, which is something that needed to be done. In the end, that's another flawed policy, and that's what happened, Dominic. That's what happened. And so who is this, who's going to see this video? Is it only going to your members? Who do you plan on seeing this video? It's being released to every local in the United States. It's going to be on uh, the IAFF's website. I'm sure it'll be on YouTube instantly, you know, communications nowadays. It'll be available to anybody who wants to see it. And it'll be on the UFA website, www.ufa.org. So, you know, we'll have it up. And, you know, I think when people look at it, they'll have a different, you know, perspective of what Rudy Giuliani actually did while he was the mayor of the city of New York. I, 